All right, Mark, I have here in my hand some data. It's called IRI. It is tamper-proof data, and it shows U.S. dollar consumption. And it looks like, and this is from June 7th, this is not some one-time only pantry spike. These comp- pe- Pepperidge Farm cookies, Snyder's of Hanover, Cape Cod, Kettle, these are all not Campbell's soup up 20%. This is not the kind of stuff that tells me it's over. No, I, I think you're right, Jim. I, you know, I think, and even if you go deeper down that list, you're going to see some soup numbers that are right around 20%. And that is the first week of June. Uh, traditionally, perhaps not the time where you're seeing that kind of growth. But I think the reality is, is that even though we may be seeing some recovery and people returning to a little bit more normality, I think the behaviors that were built um, in this last several months have the real potential to continue to provide a catalyst for improved results. And even if the top lines slow a bit or the in-market results slow a bit, I think the elevated overall demand is going to continue to provide opportunity for company like ours to continue to connect and meet the needs of consumers. Yeah, I mean, Mark, I think a lot of people discovered that it wasn't just that your soups weren't just filled with preservatives. And then a lot of other people like my wife discovered that you could take the cream of chicken and make a casserole out of it, that it was that this stuff was ripe for cooking things that you wanted to cook, not just what you wanted to heat up. Right. Yeah, I, I think two big trends that you're seeing, um, not unlike uh, your wife, uh, her discovery is that, you know, soup plays a, a, a very important role in what we call quick scratch cooking. Right. So this is taking a couple simple ingredients, putting them together and making a meal uh, that you feel good about serving your family. And I, you know, I'm very grateful for all the work that we did on returning focus to the core business before the the virus uh, and the crisis hit, it gave us a great foundation to build off of as it related to strong quality messages on our products and also this orientation to usage. I think the other component of what has been occurring is a lot more in-home lunch consumption too. And if you think about the role of soup, whether it's tomato soup or chicken noodle, uh, as it relates to a quick meal, you feel better about what you're getting. And even in a moment like this, where it's a little warmer outside, uh, it's a pretty simple and convenient way to meet more of those in-home needs. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.